guys, this is Miso here with Miso Making It. Welcome to my kitchen today, where we're going to be making this beef ribeye roast. This is a Southern Sunday favorite. So here you see that I have this ribeye roast, and um, it's a good looking piece of meat. You see here that it has some um, fat on it, it has marbling in it. Uh, the bone is in, and that's going to give us some extra flavor. And it has, like I said, a little bit of fat on it and in it. That's going to add to the moisture and the flavor. Well, what I paid here was $35.58 for this roast. It was $6.99 a pound. And this roast weighs just a little over 5 pounds. So that's going to make us a nice meal for me, Big Daddy, and just a couple of guests. So now you know that cleanliness is next to godliness, so we got to wash this guy off. So now I'm going to go ahead and I have some garlic here, and I'm just going to poke some holes in the meat, and I'm going to get my garlic right down inside of the meat. You put as much garlic as you want, or as little as you want, or you don't have to put any if you don't like garlic. I'm just building flavors here. We're putting garlic in on every side. Yes. So I have here some Himalayan pink salt. You don't have to use that, guys. Use any kind of salt that you have, sea salt, table salt, all works well. And just get it salted all over. Of course, we're going to add some garlic powder to the outside. Why wouldn't we? Okay, going to get that all over. And I have just some uh, black pepper that I'm going to grind. This is fresh black pepper. And I'm going to put a lot of it on here. I mean a lot. I really want more because you can never get too much black pepper on this kind of meat. I have olive oil that I'm putting inside this cast iron skillet. And I'm going to get ready. I'm going to let it get hot. I'm going to get ready to put my meat in. I have just regular flour here and I'm just putting it all over this piece of meat and then now I'm going to get it down into this hot pan and let it sizzle, let it fry. I'm going to get some brown on this guy. You know your flavors come from letting your meat brown and that's where you're going to get that deep robust flavor. Oh we're going to have it here guys. So here's my aluminum pan and I also have put a um just a rack inside the pan so that the meat won't rest down directly on the pan. Gonna get that meat in, and you see this sort of this crusty side. Now, I like a lot of brown. You don't have to let yours get this brown if you don't want to, but I suggest that you do. Mm, looking good already. I wish you could smell what's going on in here. Okay, so now I'm gonna get ready to put this guy in the oven. I put this on a sheet cake. Uh, pan. Uh, I'm going to cook it at 300 degrees and there it is. So now I baked mine at 300 degrees for two and a half hours and you use a meat thermometer to get yours to the desired doneness that you want. Look at this. The proof is in the pudding. Big Daddy likes his uh, medium well to well and that's the way I'm cooking mine. But you cook yours the way that you want it. If you like it rare, leave it rare. Look at this. I'm just trying to show you this, give you an idea of what I got going on here. Oh, 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 oh man. Ah, oh, look at this. You can see the garlic inside. Oh, dear. Just want to show you that one more time. Yeah, I know. That's like a remix, a redo. Uh -huh, look at that garlic. You see the fat that's in here. All of this, even being cooked on the bone, all of this is adding flavor, flavor, flavor. And that's what it's all about, guys. Mm, yeah, thumbs up. All right, let's go back again, though. Look at that. Look at this. Mm-mm-mm. Ho, ho. Mm, mm. Yes. Mm, yeah, thumbs up again. One last shot, guys. Hey, guys, thank you for coming by my channel. Thank you for supporting me. Guys, leave me some comments. I love interacting with you. If you like this video, share it wherever, you, wherever you're active on social media. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I love you guys. Thank you for watching.